Now, you're probably not expecting this video from me, but I really wanted to make this video just because something recently I picked up I absolutely love and I wanted to share it with you guys. So we're going to have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation called story time, and I'm going to show you what I got. There's actually a pretty little story behind the item that I actually, actually picked up. Now, if you don't know me or you may know me, I made a video a long time explaining why I don't pick up gaming merchandise or gaming memorabilia, and that extends outside of gaming as well, whether it be TV, movies, basically anything that I'm passionate about or I strongly love, I usually don't go out of my way to buy buy memorabilia or merchandise for that brand and things like that. Now, I'm not going to tell you why I don't buy memorabilia or merchandise for brands I actually love and things like that. I may need to update that video in the future because the video I made was very, very old. So I may make a new video in the future, but I'm not going to go into detail why I don't buy memorabilia or gaming merchandise. But this is related because the item I picked up is actually merchandise for a video game. Right now, the video game is actually popular and the company is actually doing pretty well right now. And I wanted to talk about how I acquired it and everything like that. Because like I said, there is a story behind what I picked up. Now, this item is going to be exclusive to Target. I actually found that out. I didn't know that when I walked into Target. I was actually there for something else, but I decided to check the gaming aisle. So while I was on the gaming aisle, I stumbled across this item. Now, I will keep, it, keep you in suspense until the end of the video. I'll show you the item and you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this item is exclusive to Target. Now, mind you, this video game is popular. This video... Uh, this video game franchise and company is very popular and they only had one left in stock believe it or not they had one left in stock so I took the item and I went up to go pay for it at the register and once the person at the register scans it they're like unfortunately sir we have a problem it's not coming up in the computer and I'm like uh, that's okay. It says back there it's $9.99, roughly $10. But she's like, unfortunately, if it doesn't come up in the computer when I scan it, you cannot physically buy it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I cannot buy the item because it does not come up in the computer. And she's like, yes, that's Target's policy. And I was just raging inside. If you don't know me in real life, 99% of the time, I'm a happy, upbeat person in my everyday life. And I was just raging inside. Because I, once I seen that item, there's like no turning back for me. I had to have the item. Especially since I've never seen it before. And it's exclusive to Target only. I have had to have it. And the fact that it's one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time. I have had to have the item. So you know what I did? I immediately did not even bother with the girl at the register and make a make a big scene and everything like that i went to customer service and then told him i scanned it back there at a, at at, the, at a register and she said once it's scanned if it doesn't come up in the computer i cannot physically buy the item and she said another person said yep she's right if it doesn't come up in the computer when we scan it you can't actually physically buy the item and i was just so 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 mad i said Hey, listen to me here. I'm going to turn you into the better, better business bureau or I'm going to tell my friends this Target sucks and I'm also going to give you a bad rating on Google, Yelp, basically anywhere I can review your Target. I'm going to give you a bad score and I'm like, you better go get the manager right now. If you don't get the manager right now, oh, uh, and she's like, okay, okay, let me go get the manager. So I got the manager and when I got the manager, I told him the same thing I said to both those people and he's like, yep. That still targets policy. Once you scan it, if it doesn't show up in the computer, you cannot buy it. Even if you know the price of the item, even if it had a price tag attached to it, you cannot buy the item. And I then I told him immediately, hey, listen, buddy, I'm going to turn you into the Better Business Bureau. I'm going to turn you into Yelp, Google. I'm going to give you bad scores every possible where it's possible. I'll tell every single person I humanly know that this target sucks if you don't let me buy this item. And then, you know what he immediately said? You can guess. He immediately said, I'll make an exception for an exception for you. But the thing was, it wasn't a quick little deal. 
I had to wait an hour. He had to call some other people in. He had to sort this out on the computer. So you can see this was a really big deal. It took me about an hour to get this whole thing sorted, but I was dedicated. Even if it was going to take me three or four hours, I was dedicated. Really, really dedicated because I've never seen this item before. I love this franchise and every single thing. Now, what item am I actually talking about? Well, if you don't know, I actually drink most of my water and most of my tea in this glass right here. This is a pretty generic glass. You can probably get one of these anywhere, whether it be Target, Walmart, anywhere that sells uh, household items, you can buy this item. You can see it has a little white ring around it, and I cannot wash that out. You can see I've had this cup now for about five years. So that's how long I've been using this cup, and honestly... I am content with using this because it's not damaged, not broken, it's not too small, not too big. I use it every day just to drink water around the house, basically when I'm in the house. So this is the one I'm using. But recently, a couple days ago, I stumbled on one that I just could not pass up. Considering it was $10, one of my favorite gaming franchises and everything, I've had to pick it up. And I'm going to show you the item right now. Here is the item right now. It is the uh, Mario Kart glass. Here is the Mario Kart water cup. And you can obviously see I did already use it. You can see leftover water. I use it. I've been using this pretty much exclusively. I'm probably never going to use that blue cup again. I'm just going to use this Mario Kart one. This Mario Kart one is flat out awesome. I absolutely love this one. Is this the best water bottle on the market? No, by far. Is it the biggest? Nope. But considering it says Mario Kart, I absolutely love it. And taking consideration, I'm just using this in the house, and in about 30, 40, 50 minutes from when the water's in here, it's already going to be in my system drunken. So that's why I really don't care if it doesn't stay cold for long periods or if it doesn't hold a lot of water. I absolutely love this. Would I've bought, would I've randomly looked up on the internet Mario Kart like glasses or cups? Nope because I would just be content with the blue one I currently showed you on camera. There's no reason to actually look around for this because I'm not a person that looks around for gaming memorabilia or merchandise. I'm pretty much stay away, but I saw this at Target when I was looking around at the gaming section when I was there trying to buy some other items. There, I saw this one, and I could not resist this item at all. Now, this is going to be an exclusive at Target. It said on the sticker it was exclusive to Target, so if you want this item... Definitely hurry up to your local Target and go to the gaming section. There is, uh, they do have a water bottle section by the sporting wear, but I found this one in the gaming section exclusively. So if you don't find it in the sports wear, that's because it's probably in your gaming section. They consider it gaming memorabilia, even though this is technically a water container. So go ahead and look over there. Also, I was looking around on the internet after I bought this for Mario Kart mugs, and I didn't really find anything that had Mario Kart on it that was a glass or a mug. The ones I did found were on uh, Amazon, and they were on uh, Tar Toys R Us. I seen those ones, but the problem with those ones, I didn't actually like them, just due to the fact that they looked like they had a, a picture of like a Google image of Mario Kart plastered on them and they look very very kitty even the bottle itself you can tell was made for kids same thing with the one at toys r us i just didn't like the design again it looked like they just took a google image and plastered it on the actual bottle it didn't look high quality the bottles look like they were definitely made for kids but this one if you're not aware this is actually not a sticker it's actually on it so it looks like it won't be coming off Time will tell how long you take care of it if you wash it and things like this. It does say this one is uh, not a microwave safe, so don't put it in the microwave if you're trying to warm up something. Don't put it in the microwave. I don't know if it's dishwasher safe. It may not be dishwasher safe, but for the most part, since I absolutely flat out love this, I'm probably not even going to put this in the dishwasher one time. I'm probably going to hand wash it every single time. That is probably what I'm going to do with this cup as well. So I'm just very, very glad I do have this cup. If you can see right here, it does actually have a, uh, it does actually have a little uh, thing you can open and close it, so you can keep the water in there if you want to close it up. Unfortunately, this does leak, so if you tip it upside down, it will leak. So just don't tip it upside down. I would honestly also say that this is not a cup you really want to bring around with you, like on trips or if you're traveling a lot. This is not going to be it. But if you're just a person that drinks water or whatever beverage you're drinking in your house for long, like everyday use, I would say this is perfect for everyday use. And just the fact it says Mario Kart, I absolutely love it. Also, it is actually, uh, you can see on camera, it is a little bit bigger than the one I've been using for five years. So I am definitely A-OK -okay with that as well. But anyway, there is a cup. It's clear. And there it is. It's actually a 
not glass if you're wondering it's actually made of plastic you may be thinking it may be glass but it is actually a plastic material and this part just comes off nice and easy and here it is right here if you wanted to see this the lid as well there's the actual lid as well i don't know what that hole is there for either it might be for like if you drink coffee and it's hot it might do something with like the way hot liquids work because it has that hole right there but there's the mario kart glass cup whatever you want to call it, exclusively to target anyway guys peace out i'll see you guys later in my next video i'm out guys